Hey, what's up guys? It's Dark Arm Duelist Integrity doing a spider deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys because I've wanted to profile this deck on the channel for a while because it's super fun to be able to play and it's easy to OTK your opponent with this build because of the amount of board breakers we're playing in the deck. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards. Like in your name, description, every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month your Patreon. So without further ado, let's get straight on into this. So first off, we're going to be playing three copies of Mother Spider Splitter. This card is the most important card in the entire deck. Because this card has an amazing ability if you control no monsters, you can special summon this card from your hand. You can also tribute this card, but you cannot special summon from the extract for the rest of the turn except XZ monsters. Also, special summon up to three baby spiders from your hand and or deck. And if you do, they become level 5. But they cannot be used as a material for an XZ summon except for an XZ summon of a dark monster, which is totally fine because we're going to climb through these spider cards to be able to OTK our opponent like number 77, the 7 sin. But this card is super cool as a 3 of, and you always want to be able to get to this card so you can put your copies of Baby Spider on your side of the field so you can climb into the Spider Engine. We're then playing 3 copies of Baby Spider. Baby Spider is such an important 3 of in the deck that you can summon off your copy of Mother Spider, but this card has the ability to contribute a Dark Monster to increase the level of all Baby Spiders you currently control by the level of the Tributive Monster, which is a really good effect to be able to do because once you summon out 3 copies of Baby Spider, off of mother spider they will become level five you then tribute one of the baby spiders to turn them into level 10 and then you start climbing through the spider cards in the extract which is so cool this card also has a really cool effect that you can pay half your light points and banish this card from the grave detach a material from one dark XZ monster and then target a dark monster in the graveyard and special summon it which is great because you can bring out basically two of your really powerful boss monsters by just using this card's ability while making them bigger which is so cool because of the effect of ravenous tarantula which is just crazy we then play three copies of a resonance insect this card is really good as a three of in the deck because if this card is sent from the field to the graveyard you can add a level five or higher insect monster from your deck to your hand which is always going to be your copy of mother spider you're searching off this card's ability which is really cool we then play two copies of Danger Mothman. Danger Mothman is great in the deck as a two of because it is a level four insect that we can use with a really spicy tech card, but it's a really good card in the deck to help you just dig into the deck as an extender because you're going to reel this card in your hand and your opponent randomly chooses one card from your entire hand and you discard the chosen card. Then if the card was not Danger Mothman, you special summon one Danger Mothman from your hand and if you do, draw a card, which all of your Danger Monsters have that ability, which is so cool that you basically reveal them in your hand your opponent randomly picks a card in your hand you discard that card and if it wasn't the danger that you revealed you special summon that danger to your side of the field and you draw a card now they do have different effects if they are discarded with this card's unique ability that if this card is discarded both players draw a card and then both players discard a card so regardless you're going to be able to draw a card out this card's ability to help you get to combo pieces in the build we then play a single copy of danger suchinoko danger suchinoko or danger noodle is really good in the deck as a one of because basically regardless you're going to special summon this card out to your side of the field because if this card is discarded you special summon this card making this card a really good one of in the build we then play a single copy of jackalope jackalope's great because if this card is discarded you actually get a really cool ability that you can special summon a danger monster from the deck and defense solution which is a great effect we then play two copies of danger nessie danger nessie is great in this build as a two up because this card has the ability if this card is discarded you get to add a danger card from your deck to your hand which is amazing to be able to add any danger card that you need we then play two copies of Kamungus. Kamungus is really good because you can search this card off of your resonant insect. Plus, it's a spider, so it works with the entire like aesthetic of the deck. So this card is really good as a kaiju because you want to go second in this build. So you can basically hand your opponent a spider so they can have one of their own. But this card is really good in the deck to be able to use with interrupted kaiju slumber. And it's also really good to out opponent's boss monsters. We then play two copies of the multi-dimensional kaiju. This card is great in the deck as a two of because it does help out with the small world package in the deck. And it's also really good in this build to basically just hand your opponent a kaiju. So that's it for the monsters guys let's get in to the spells
So for the spells, we're going to start with a single copy of Harpy's Feather Duster. We're going to be playing a lot of board breakers in this deck, and this card is one of the most powerful board breakers in the entire game. This card just deals with all your opponent's back row, which is amazing. We then play two copies of Lightning Storm. Lightning Storm is also really good in the deck as a two of, because this card deals with your opponent's back row or their attack position monsters, but you have to control no face-up cards to activate this card, which is not that big of a deal because you're just using this card to deal with back row or monsters. Speaking of monsters, we're also playing three copies of Raigeki. Raigeki is really good in the deck as well because it deals with all the opponent's monsters so you can go in for game for an OTK. We then also play three copies of Dark Hole. Dark Hole is really good in the deck as a three of because it just deals with the entire field. We're basically playing all the destroy everything on the field cards at three which is hilarious because you're guaranteed with this amount of them in the deck you're going to get one in your opening hand. So you go second, you drop these cards on the field, you make your big spider and then you OTK which is basically the purpose of the deck and it works really well. We then play three copies of Interrupted Kaiju Slumber because if we didn't have enough board breakers, we do now. This card is really good in the deck because you destroy as many monsters on the field as possible and then special summon an attack position two kaiju monsters with different names from your deck, one to either player's field, which is really amazing. I love that about this card and it just gets you a big monster on your side of the field like a copy of Kamungus because we can basically summon out the biggest spider on our side of the field from our deck, which is really cool. Plus, these cards work really well like your copy of Dark Hole and Interrupted Kaiju Slumber. They work extremely well with your copy of Resonant Insect because if this card is sent to the grave, you get to add a level 5 or higher insect monster from your deck to your hand. So you get to search out your copy of Mother Spider off this card's ability, which is just going to basically turn on the entire play while also destroying your opponent's field, which is why I play so many board breakers like Dark Hole and Interrupted Kaiju Slumber in the build, which is just really, really important. We then play three copies of Insect Imitation. Insect Imitation is really good as a three of in the deck. So it lets you tribute one monster to special summon an insect monster from your deck whose level is one level higher than the treated monster had on the field. So we can turn our level fours into a copy of Mother Spider, which is really amazing. I love that about this card. It's why I play Danger Mothman in the deck and Resident Insect in the deck. And it also makes your copy of Resident Insect go off because it does touch the graveyard, which is super cool. But this card is great in the deck as a three of because it helps you get to your copy of mother spider on your side of the field because it is a level five insect so this card is basically like transmodify which is so cool we then play three copies of small world small world is extremely important in the deck because we really need to get to our copy of mother spider because if we don't have that card we basically just board break the opponent until we can get to it no tk but this card has a lot of different bridges in the deck to be able to use to be able to get to our copy of mother spider because it is a level five and it's got a little bit of a weird level which is super cool and this card is great in the deck as a three of to help us get to our copy of mother spider we then play three copies of Allure of Darkness. Allure of Darkness is great because we play a lot of dark monsters in the deck. So this card helps us dig into the deck, which is why we play this card as a two up. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get in to the extra deck. So for the extra deck, guys, we're going to start off with number 77, the Seven Sins. This card is our main boss monster that we're playing as a two of in the build. But this card is so cool because you can also XZ summon this card using a rank 10 or a rank 11 dark XZ monster that you control as XZ material. It also has a really cool ability that basically you just take those materials and attach it to this card, which is really cool. And if this card is summoned this way, the following effect cannot be activated this turn, but it has the ability that once per turn, you can detach two materials from this card and banish as many special summon monsters that your opponent controls as possible, then attach one of those banished monsters to this card as XZ material. And if this card on the field would be destroyed by battle of that card effect, which I don't know when your opponent's gonna destroy this 4,000 attack point monster by battle, it has the ability to detach a material from this card instead, giving you a little bit of protection. We then play two copies of Pain Gainer. Pain Gainer is really good in the deck as a two up because this card just gives you an additional material under your copy of number 77, but it also has a really cool ability that it basically lets this card gain defense equal to the combined ranks of all XZ monsters that you control times 200, which is so cool to be able to do because it's gonna get really big on your side of the field. And when this card has XZ material, each time your opponent activates a spell or trap card, you inflict 600 points of damage to your opponent, immediately lets effect result, and once per turn, you can detach an XZ material from this card, destroy all face up monsters to your opponent control with defense less than or equal to this card, which is really cool because it's going to get really big on your side of the field. So it's very easy to board wipe your opponent with this card. 
We then played two copies of Ravenous Tarantula. Ravenous Tarantula is insane and is how you actually OTK your opponent. This card is one of the most important cards to be able to play in the deck. It is all monsters that you control gain attack and defense equal to the difference between your life points and your opponent's life points, which is easy to be able to do because your copy of Baby Spider will actually get you to pay half your life points at some point in your combo, which is really cool to be able to do because it'll make all your monsters go up by 4,000 attack points. And if you have your copy of number 77 and this card on the field, it's basically going to make number 77 8,000 attack points and make this card 4,000 attack points, making it super easy to OTK your opponent. And while this card is XZ material, each time your opponent special summons a monster, you inflict 600 points of damage to your opponent, and once per turn, you can detach a material from this card, destroy all face up monsters that your opponent controls with attack less than or equal to this card, making it super easy to board wipe your opponent with this card alone. We then buy a single copy of Malevolent Sin. Malevolent Sin is just in here because it is also a spider card, and you can make rank fours in the deck. But it's really good because it lets you detach a material from this card, and then you target a monster your opponent controls and banish it until your opponent's next stamina phase. And at the end of the damage step, if this card attacked, you can make this card gain 300 attack, and if, if you do, increase its rank by 3. So if you do attack twice, you can turn it into a rank 10 so you can climb into 7 sins, but you're basically just playing this card to spot remove cards off the field. We then play a really spicy card in the extract as well, which is a single copy of number 53, Heart Earth. I've always wanted to include this card in a deck so you can summon out Heart Earth Dragon by its own means, but since you summon out your copy of Baby Spiders and they do all three become level five, you can make Heart Earth, which is really cool, so that you can use its ability to be able to summon out your copy of Heart Earth Dragon. I've always wanted to build a deck that could summon out Heart Earth Dragon by the effect of Heart Earth, and you can do it this way, which is really insane. And Heart Earth Dragon is a crazy powerful boss monster that can win games on its own. It doesn't come out very often in the deck, but you basically just need these cards in the deck. So I had the room, so I included them in the build. We then play a single copy of number 60, the a copy of the Timeless. This card is great in the deck because it helps you double the attack of monster, helps you draw to and discard a card, or reborns a monster from the graveyard. This card is great in the deck as a one of and just helps out a lot overall. We then play a single copy of Raider's Knight. Raider's Knight can help you turn your copy of Raider's Knight into a copy of Arc Rebellion. Arc Rebellion is great in the build as a one of because it can get absolutely massive and OTK your opponent. Plus, again, it's pretty easy to put rank fours on your side of the field so you play these cards. We then play a single copy of Double A Zeus. Double A Zeus is just an any XZ deck, and it's really easy to board wipe your opponent with this card. We then play a single copy of Typhon. Typhon is really good in just about any deck, especially this deck, and it's really good in this build because it is a dark monster in case you do get locked into dark. And then finally, we play a single copy of Alan Mirage for our only Link monster. This card is really good with your copy of Resident Insect because you can basically normal summon out the copy of Resident Insect. And if you don't have a way to get it off the field, you can just make a copy of Alamirage with it by just normal summoning it out to your side of the field, which is really easy to be able to do because your copy of Resident Insect has a perfect thousand attack points. So you can normal summon it out and make your copy of Alamirage, making it super easy to basically step into the spider engine, which is really, really cool. So that's it for the deck guys i hope you enjoyed it. this deck is super fun to be able to play if you guys have never played a spider deck before you should definitely play this build because it's super fun it took me a while to figure out exactly how i wanted to build this deck because there's not a lot of cards for spiders except for the xz monsters mother spider and your copies of baby spider that are actually really good but this is actually a really fun build to play and it's actually fairly budget which is nice so that's gonna do for this one guys don't forget to like comment subscribe Hit the bell there so you can come part of the notification squad. And we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.